In this tutorial, we're diving into DupDub, a powerful AI tool that lets you create a wide variety of realistic avatars and pair them with custom AI-generated voices. And I'm gonna walk you through how to animate your chosen avatar so it speaks naturally. I'll show you how to clone your own voice as well for a personalized touch and how to combine these tools to produce professional quality videos in minutes. And real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog Within YouTube channel. Helps me bring you more resources, and it keeps you up to date with all of the AI, web, and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, from the main dashboard, you'll see the option labeled AI Avatar. Go ahead and click on that, and it will take you directly into the avatar creation interface. And once you're inside, you'll notice a few different ways to get started. First, there are two upload options, one for face photos, which supports multiple faces, and another for animal photos if you want to animate a pet image. Below that, you could start with some pre-made avatar templates, which are divided into categories. You have photo avatars, motion avatars, and gesture avatars. Each one of these gives you a slightly different style and presentation. First, let's create one with a motion avatar. So go ahead and click that tab to open the templates. And I think I'll go with the gamer girl. So we'll just select that one. And then once you select your template, it will be added to the workspace towards the top of the screen. Then once you've selected your avatar, the next step is to add a voiceover. So over on the right hand side, you'll see three different options, AI voiceover, upload, and record. The AI voiceover option lets you type in your own script up to 3000 characters. If you already have audio prepared, you can click the upload tab, and this allows you to upload an audio or video file of up to five minutes, which DubDub will sync to your avatar. Then the third option is record. This lets you record your own voice directly within DubDub. You can record up to five minutes at a time, and once it's done, it'll automatically sync with your avatar. I'm gonna use the AI voiceover option, so I'll select that one, and then enter the text of what you want it to say in that box provided. Next, it's time to select a voice. You can select from one of the pre-made voices or use a voiceover file. And for this example, I'm gonna use one of DubDub's pre-made voices. By default, looks like they've started us off with Matilda, but if you click that dropdown, you'll be presented with the additional voices to choose from. You'll notice there are hundreds of voices to choose from in different languages, accents, and character styles. Then on the right, you'll see some stats for the voice that is selected, as well as some tone and pitch configuration settings. Then if you scroll, you'll see the different language options, opening the door to multilingual avatars and projects. Pretty cool. Okay, let's test some of these voices out. Simply click on any of the thumbnails to preview the voices and hear what they sound like. Let's start with Matilda. Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a young girl. She was known for her kindness and love for animals. Love it. Then let's try this one. Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a young girl. She was known for her kindness and love for animals. Okay, I think I like this one. So once you find a voice that you wanna use, click the select button and it will be applied to the avatar and text. Then you can test it out before actually generating the avatar by clicking this little play button. But keep in mind that this will only play the audio. We can't see what it'll look like synced with the avatar just yet. However, this will let us listen to the voice applied to the text so we could see if we like it. So let's take a listen. Thanks, Ben. With DubDub, you can turn any script into a natural sounding voiceover in seconds. You can choose from hundreds of voices in multiple languages. That's actually really good. The pacing and tone sounded great, and it's honestly one of the best ones I've heard in a long time. Okay, then I forgot to mention that there is a subtitles option. Just flip that switch on if you want subtitles to be added to the video once you generate it. And speaking of that, whenever you're ready to make your talking AI avatar live, just click the Generate Talking Avatar button in the upper right corner of the screen. Then you'll be presented with a pop-up confirming the amount of credits it costs to generate the avatar. Looks like this costs us 4.4 credits, and I upgraded to the Pro DubDub plan, which gave me 500 credits per month, just FYI. Okay, once you're ready to move on, click the Generate button, 
and DupDub gets to work on processing the request and creating the video. You'll be taken to your AI avatar projects menu and this is where all of your projects will be stored and is where you can monitor and manage all of your AI avatar projects specifically. Now it usually takes about 10 minutes of processing for a full minute of video. So for the sake of time, let me fast forward really quick. And when it's done processing, you can hover your mouse over the thumbnail and click the preview button to take a look at the final product. So let's check it out. Thanks, Ben. With DubDub, you can turn any script into a natural sounding voiceover in seconds. You can choose from hundreds of voices in multiple languages, fine tune the tone and pacing, and even match the voice to different character styles. Whether you're creating videos, podcasts, or training content, DubDub helps you produce professional audio quickly and easily without stepping into a recording booth. That was really good. I'm honestly impressed with the quality of not only the audio, but the visuals we get as well. DubDub does a great job at syncing this up and making it not only sound natural, but look natural too. Then we're not done. If you look towards the bottom of the preview, you have some options to either share the video, edit it in the post edit in video editing interface, or download the video. And speaking of that, let me quickly show you the post edit in video feature. This is like having your own video editor right here within your DubDub account. On the left, you'll see various features that you could use to enhance your videos like images, subtitles, transitions, effects, etc. Then in the center of the screen, you'll see your avatar preview and directly below that is the timeline where all of your clips and audio tracks are managed. Now, we're not gonna be using the video editor in this video, but this is an amazing feature that can help you enhance your projects within DupDub. Okay, next let's create an AI avatar using the photo template. So. To create a new avatar from this screen, click the plus new avatar button. Then this time staying in the photo avatar section, scroll or filter until you find an image you want to use. Then one cool thing about the photos is that you have more ways to manipulate them. As you can see here next to the image, we have a sidebar menu where you can replace, crop, swap the face, change the background, enhance the image, and add subtitles, opening the door to even more creativity. So first, let's try the swap face feature. And once selected, you'll have the option to select the face with the crop tool there. Then the next step is to upload the photo of the face that you wanna swap it with. So click the upload photo button and find the image you wanna use. Try to use an image that has a prominent headshot and only has one face in the image. This helps to improve the final swap. Then we'll give it a few moments to upload and we have our face swap. Looks pretty good to me. I actually look a lot younger in that updated pic, so I'm not gonna complain. All right, once you're happy with the swap, click the confirm button, and our image has been updated with a new face. Next, let's try out the change background feature. And this is pretty self-explanatory, but this removes the current background, and clicking on each thumbnail gives you a preview of what it'll look like when applied to the image. There are some nature scenes, as well as some gradient color backgrounds here to choose from. Now, you could even upload your own background image by clicking this icon, and then uploading the image that you wanna use from your computer. And looks pretty good. Then, once you're happy with the new background, click the Confirm button. Okay, next, let's add the voiceover. And we're gonna do something a little different here. From the voiceover menu, I'm actually gonna use a clone of my voice that I created using DubDub. I'll show you how to do that a little later on in the video, but since I'm using an image of myself, I thought it made sense to use my own voice. However, this way, I don't have to talk. I can just add the text and apply my cloned voice to it, saving me a ton of recording time. And after I've applied the cloned voice, I'm just pretty much using the same text as before, but this is where you would type what you want the voice to say. Okay, now that we have our voice, let's generate this avatar. So click the button in the upper right corner of the screen, and then click the generate button again, and DubDub gets to work. Again, this usually takes about 10 minutes to process a one full minute of video, so let's fast forward really quick and take a look and listen to the final product. With DupDub, you can turn any script into a natural sounding voiceover in seconds. You can choose from hundreds of voices in multiple languages, 
Fine-tune the tone and pacing, and even match the voice to different character styles. Whether you're creating videos, podcasts, or training content, DubDub helps you produce professional audio quickly and easily without stepping into a recording booth. Okay, so that's the photo avatar with the face swap, changed background, and cloned voice. Again, that's just the beginning. You can edit it further, use different voices, backgrounds, enhance the image, and so much more. But for the sake of time, let me quickly show you the gesture talking avatar. Thanks, Ben. With DubDub, you can turn any script into a natural sounding voiceover in seconds. You can choose from hundreds of voices in multiple languages, fine tune the tone and pacing, and even match the voice to different character styles. All right, that wraps up the AI avatar section. Now that you've seen the different ways to create an on-screen presenter, let's move into the next step, which is cloning a voice in DubDub so your avatar can sound exactly the way you want it to. Okay, to clone a voice in DubDub, start from the dashboard and click on Instant Voice Cloning. This feature allows you to create a digital version of your own voice or any voice sample you have permission to use in just a few simple steps. The first thing you'll see is the Add Voice window. Here, you'll give your voice a name so you can easily find it later. And in this example, I'll type in Blog with Ben. Below that, you'll choose a voice sample. You have three options here. You can upload an audio or video file that's up to one minute long or you can record a new sample directly using your microphone, or paste a video link from platforms like YouTube or TikTok. And for this example, I'm using some pre-recorded audio of my voice, so I'll upload my own audio file and select that first option there. And then once added, you'll get a preview of it. After uploading the sample, DubDub gives you the option to reduce background noise with this little toggle here. This helps ensure your cloned voice comes out as natural and crisp as possible, so I recommend flipping that switch on. Next, you'll fill out the voice description with the various drop downs. This includes details like the language, accent, gender, age group, and style of the voice. Then once everything is set, check the box to confirm and agree that you have the rights to use this audio, and then click add to my voice. And DubDub will process the sample and add it to your personal library of voices. From here, you can find your cloned voice under the My Voices tab in the voiceover section. And there it's my blog within voice, so let's select it. And this brings us to the DubDub voice interface. This is where the magic happens. On the right, you'll see your newly cloned voice with some speed and pitch options, giving you the ability to adjust the speed and pitch of the voice if you want. Then to the left is where you'll enter the text of what you want the voice to say. If you need some help, there is an Ask AI to Write feature, but I already have a script and I'm just going to paste my text in there like so. Then towards the top of the screen are some enhancement features. You can also add music or sound effects for a professional touch and the lexicon feature builds a custom dictionary so your voice always pronounces special terms correctly. These are some amazing features and together these tools make your cloned voice sound natural polished, and fully customized. Then once all the settings have been configured, let's preview this and take a listen. So click that play button and let's hear how it turned out. Now that the site is up and running, let's look at how easy it is to edit it with the WordPress block builder. If you chose the block builder during setup, you'll be working in a clean visual editor where every part of your page, headings, images, buttons, galleries, columns, is a block you can add, rearrange, and style right on the canvas. It's fast, intuitive, and you don't need to touch a line of code. Okay, then towards the top of the screen, you can export your audio whenever you're ready to use it. Just click the export button and you'll be presented with the various options as to how you wanna export it. Either way, this AI voice cloning feature can save you a ton of time in the recording booth if you're someone who creates a lot of content, records podcasts, or needs professional quality audio on a regular basis. And that's it for this Dub Dub tutorial. Now you know how to create a wide range of AI avatars, you can clone your own voice, and bring everything together into professional quality videos. And with these tools, you can experiment with different styles, voices, and characters to make your content stand out and connect with your audience in new ways. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more tutorials just like this. And if you're ready to start creating with DubDub, check out the link in the video description below to get started today. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.
So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step by step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.